right, so let's go ahead and put the drop chest down over here. And I will go ahead and fill it with some various items that I do not need on me at this moment in time. I think that'll do. That'll do, yes. So, let's go ahead and grab the loot from the final loot room first, just because I think that would be... Oh, crap. Um, okay, I'm gonna get up on top of the building to deal with this wolf. Now, is this a working vending machine? No, it's not. Okay, so... I should... Be able to do this. And... Where are you going, friends? Oh, don't tell me he's trying to make his way up here. No. That is... That is not cool. Well, crap. Unfortunately, the uh, lumberjacks are going to be able to get up here. That is not ideal. Oh, no! The wolf got up here. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. I'm out of... Stamina. Let's go ahead and very quickly put my... Uh, I may need my shotgun. So it's a very good thing that I did not activate that quest yet, because I would be confined due to the uh, size of the POI. Oh dear lord. Oh shit. Oh, and of course this isn't reloaded. Why would it be? Okay, amazingly, the wolf doesn't seem to be very capable of following me. <laughs> nothing has gone well today. Not, not in the world of seven days to die. No, nothing has gone well. Yes, you burn. You burn and think about what you've done, my friend. And sit down. No, I don't like this weather either. Unfortunately, it's it's making it difficult to see any kind of distance. I'm worried I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and run away from one of these guys. I'm gonna run right into a bear or a mountain lion. That would not be particularly pleasant. Take a seat, my friend. Yes, there you go. I'm not worried about the boar. The boar is not generally aggressive. Oh boy. Oh, he lost me, really. Whew, run, 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 run. Seems the corners are uh, causing some problems for my friend. You know what, if that'll allow me to get back up onto the uh, top of the building, I will take it. Because I really don't want to deal with the dire wolf. Wait, where? Oh god! Oh god! He managed to get up here. Oh yes, he got up here alright. Really? How much health do you have, Direwolf? You took two shotgun blasts to the face like it was nothing. <laughs> Good lord. I clearly need a better shotgun. This thing is not going to work out for me. What even, what even are the... 
I'll check once I've uh, cut this guy up. I want to see what the hell the stats are on my shotgun, because uh, I did not anticipate that he could actually take two full blasts to the face and just be like, yeah, no, no problem. Not to mention how many 9mm rounds I put into him. And I've gotten sneak damage off on him. Like, what in the hell, my friend? 11 with 10 pellets. I mean, that's not amazing, but it's not awful either. So, yeah, I don't I don't I don't know what's up with that. That's that's bizarre to me. So, anyways, back to what I was doing previously. Ugh, let me itch my nose there. Scratch my nose, however you want to call it. Uh, oh, hey, purse. It probably has nothing in it. What do you know? <laughs> Purses very rarely seem to have anything of any actual value in them. Um, however, when they do have something in them, generally they have cash. So, I mean, you know, I guess that's to be expected. Uh, is, is this... Uh, oh, it just goes into the room where you drop down into. Okay. So, let me go ahead and put my axe back on the thing here. We'll go ahead and get the food out of here. Okay, some cans of sham, not bad. Some peas, not bad. And, ooh, that's a level 6 blunderbuss with some level 4 scrap armor. That is pretty decent. I'll go ahead and grab the cloth here. I may need some of this. See what the trash has for me. Duct tape, yes. The most valuable of crafting materials in the wasteland. Duct tape. Okay, so some of these counters are searchable. We'll go ahead and search whatever we can. Already search that. Uh, this goes back into that room. Okay, so the soda fountain is what I was thinking of earlier. Yes, we got ourselves some Mega Crush. Uh, and some coffee wouldn't be bad either, but I didn't get any there, unfortunately. Uh, did I loot that? I did. Okay. So, that is most of the big loot out of the way. That being said, there are a couple of little hidden things in this uh, particular diner. Uh, some arrows. That replaces some of the arrows that I that I kind of threw away and missed. Uh, what do you got for me here? Not a whole hell of a lot. You could also take apart, if you were struggling to find leather, you could take apart all of these leather things and get so much leather out of this. Um, relatively quickly, um, and I didn't even realize that that trash was there, so... But yeah, that's that's something that you can do. Uh, it would take you a little bit of time, certainly. However, it is not a bad idea. Let's see if we can get a... Oh, I got a knife from the, uh, toilet there. I don't know why there would be a knife in the toilet. A gun, I understand. A knife? Eh, not so much. Knife is kind of weird. Uh, oh, I didn't search the janitor's cart. Okay, some sewing kits. I'll take that. And... Okay, some more water. I'll take that. Oh, there is a cardboard, cardboard cutout here. With a duffel bag that has a flashlight for me. Okay. Nothing exceptionally amazing, but, you know, it is what it is. And then there is a backpack up here. Ooh, and some armor that I like. Okay. Let's start go ahead and scrapping down a couple things that I probably don't need. Uh, I think that was actually about it. To be perfectly honest. Search the trash here. I kind of want the cement, but I kind of don't care either. More cooking pots. I would really like to get a grill, to be perfectly honest. Get rid of that. A grill is what I need for my campfire. The can of sham, oh god. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I just looked down away from my screen. Uh, I looked at my hand on my mouse, and I saw this black thing on my hand. And I thought it was a spider, and I just freaked the hell out. Um, it was a fly. <laughs> it was just a harmless fly, but, you know, yeah, it, it freaked me the hell out. Uh, so, that's a pretty good amount of stuff. Now, the only other things I am going to do real quick... Uh, let me get over the, uh... The thing there. Oh, 
shit, that's a mountain lion. Um. Shit. <laughs> God. It's just, it's relentless out here. I tell you, it's absolutely relentless. Um. I'm also extremely overburdened. So I'm not real happy with that. I don't really have the ammo to be dealing with crap like this. Let me go ahead and break out the... Oh, can I really not break that out? Uh, okay, let me see. Can I put a uh, thing here? Yes, I can. Okay. We're going to go ahead and use a little bit of wood and block this off. And when I go to start the quest, I will be able to uh, get rid of that. But, yeah, for now. Cat, what are you, what are you doing? I'm burning a whole lot of daylight here. A lot more than I thought I would trying to do this. Um, I may not have uh, done the double loot had I known it was going to take this long. Because of the various things that have interrupted me. need you to stop this friend now thankfully I do have the hunter mod in this hunting rifle and the hunting rifle does pretty good damage as well uh, oh wow you're gonna run away from me really you are very weird <laughs> that cat was acting very strangely very strangely indeed uh, but anyways, I've got the Hunter mod on this, so it does quite a bit of damage uh, to anything that isn't a zombie, which is quite a few things out here, to be perfectly honest. Um, so let's go ahead and put all of this stuff in the drop chest. And uh, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, what I plan to do real quick before we uh, actually activate the quest and kind of re-loop this place. I might as well go get the, the meat off of the cat over here. Uh, is I'm going to wrench up the various uh, fake vending machines, the ones that aren't working. Because you can get steel off of those. And if I could get some forged steel off of those this early, that would be fantastic. You can also get forged iron off of them. Uh, and that would also be helpful since I don't have a forge yet, so... Looking like this quest is actually going to take me all day, but, uh... It'll be, it'll be worth it at the, in the end. Absolutely, it'll be worth it in the end. Let me go ahead and... Eat one of my bacon and eggs. Because my guy is a little bit hung hungry. Thankfully, boars are not aggressive if, if you do not attack them. Thank God for that. Of course. Um, I put all my water... I, I really don't want to use that, but maybe I should. Yeah. I'll just wait for my stamina. You know what I will do? I will go get my water. That's what I'll do. Oakley doakley. So I wrenched up both of the vending machines in there. Hello, piggy. And uh, as you can see, I got five forged steel and four forged iron out of it. I got a couple of springs. I got some iron. Electrical parts, mechanical parts, you know, all good things. All very good things. So, uh, one thing I want to do before, or one I, I want to talk about real quick before I do this, is when you st activate this, like I said, it will restore the POI uh, to its natural state. So it will respawn loot and enemies and all of that good stuff. More importantly, it will also override, essentially overrides the uh, current state. So if you were to, say, take that chest... Hi there, piggy. Uh... <laughs> If you were to, say, take that chest and put it over here and put your loot in it, uh, it will actually make all of that disappear. And so I'll, I'll demonstrate that with a frame. So I've got a frame over there. We're going to go ahead, and you can see those frames I put there. I'm going to activate the quest. Frame is gone. That stuff is gone. However, I put my drop chest on the other side of the street. Generally, 
If you put stuff on the other side of the street from any kind of POI, you should be just fine. Uh, at least at that, that seems to work as a general rule. So just be aware of that and you should be good to go. All right, you big dumb turkey. I need you to die, friendo. Thank you. Um, I didn't need you to fall off the building, but that's okay. I don't really need your rotten flesh or your, or your feathers, to be perfectly honest. Uh, oh, hey, I got some bullets out of a purse. That's somewhat strange. But, you know, whatever. It's fine. And, of course, the, the other benefit of doing a double loot is since I've literally just cleared all of this area, I now know basically where all of the zombies are. Now, granted, the spawns are slightly randomized, so you can absolutely get zombies that spawn in different places than uh, what you might uh, expect. However, for the most part, the zombies will be exactly where you expected them to be. Uh, exactly where they were before. Now, I'm a little... concerned. Because last time I came over here, they immediately were on to me. Yep, immediately on to me. And, yep, once again... There is a doggo! that I don't want to deal with. Go ahead and cut him up while the crawlers make their way over to me. No sense going to them. I'll let them come to me. Uh, based on the dots, yeah, they're pretty close. Okay. That is the crawler's dealt with. Very good. And so the last of the enemies are in the final loot room. And I already know essentially how to deal with them. So we got this guy right here. We got another lady over there. And the place is clear, and we can return to the trader. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so... That taken care of. Let me go ahead and break on in here and I'll get more loot. More loot! I'll grab my arrow out of that lady, too. Some more sham. Okay. Ooh, red tea. Very nice. Uh, uh, I'll take the armor. Yeah, I will absolutely take the armor. That is significantly better. Oh, was I not wearing any chest armor? Well then, yes, that is absolutely significantly better than what I had. I'll go ahead and grab some cloth, too. Why not? Uh, so, I will go ahead and hit up some more things here. Uh, I wonder if there's anything behind any of these. No. Okay. Got a cabinet here. Uh, okay. Damn, f this fly needs to go away. Oh, my good. Oh my goodness, it is bugging the hell out of me. Oh, hey, the fridge is, uh, didn't get anything out of it. It was searchable this time, though. That was nice. More Mega Crush for me? Ah, unfortunately, no. Uh, Yuka, Yuka Juice is good, though. Um, wow, another workbench that's just, or another, uh, vending machine that's not working. That's, that's unfortunate. What about the car? Grab some good stuff out of you. Yes, very good. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit up the last couple of nooks and crannies, and then we will be on our way back home. Okay, very good, very good. Medical pile. Lots of chrysanthemums. I actually need those. In this biome, I really actually do need those. And some shotgun shells in a purse. Very nice. I actually need those shotgun shells. Very desperately. 
I also need an actual shotgun. I need a pump shotty. The, uh... The double-barreled shotgun will only take you so far. Oh, hey, there was a loot bag back here. I didn't even notice it. Uh, some 9 mil 762 and shotgun shells. Nice. Uh, oh, I can't take all of it. Uh... You're not really worth anything. You're not really worth anything. Oh, that works for me. And then there should be, yes, another cardboard cutout up here. With some splints. It's like the game knows me. <laughs> they know bad things are going to happen to me, so they give me the things to help me deal with it. And there should be one more backpack over here. Oh, it's a medical pile this time. Ooh, a lot of grain alcohol. Um... You know what, we'll scrap that in order to take it. Yep, thank you very much. I would like a grill. Do you have one? No, you just have the recipe for corn seeds. <sighs> Most unfortunate. Some more water. I am thankful for that. And another vending machine that is not working. Um, and a cooking pot. Ah! Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress over not getting a cooking pot. Uh, I could go ahead and wrench up the uh, oh hey and there's another cooking pot right over there. Um, I could wrench up these uh, vending machines again and it wouldn't be a bad idea. But seeing as how it is getting late in the day, I will uh, opt for not doing that. Oh hey, there's another thing over here. I don't remember if I got this or not last time. Uh, it is a purse with cash. Okay. Um. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna scrap you and just grab the cash, and I will leave the, uh. Yeah, I'll just leave the stuff in my. My inventory. Okay, dokly. So now. Now that I have done all of that. Make sure there aren't any dangerous animals down here before I drop down. I obviously do not have the room to carry all of this back. So first of all, I am going to mark this as DC. That's a drop chest. So the next time I'm in this area, I can go ahead and pick up whatever I, uh, I don't have room for now. So... Let's go ahead and look at the things that I absolutely have to bring back with me. Food is a must. I would also like the water. Uh, I should probably take the rotten flesh. Fly, you need to get the hell out of here before I find the swatter to swat you with. Um, you know what? That's not really all that good. Neither is that, but I don't know if scrapping a hunting knife gives me any parts. If it does, it would be well worth my time, but uh, eh. I will take the iron and steel. I'll take the empty bottles. Or empty jars, rather. The duct tape, definitely, I want. Uh, springs and parts. The iron, the glue, the nitrate. The acid, for sure. I'll bring the scrap stuff. Because it is worth money! And is there anything in here that I don't necessarily want? I don't need the broken glass or the two gunpowder. I'm not going to be doing a whole hell of a lot with two gunpowder. I will take the sewing kits, the lock picks, and I don't especially care about anything else here, but I suppose I will take the brass. Okay, and the lovely thing about this situation is, even though I am fully encumbered here, I obviously have steroids. That will stop that problem. So let's go ahead and use those real quick. So now I am not encumbered anymore, and I have a lovely bonus to uh, stamina. Now, of course, using the steroids eats up your water. However, I got these lovely Mega Crushes, and as you can see, they give me 60% or 60 water. They give me 15% stamina regen. More importantly, they give you 50% run speed. So now, I literally do not care about anything in my way. You can see how fast I am. It is absurd. I, I, I don't care what goes ends up in my way. Like, if there's a bear down, like, mountain lion, I don't care. I can outrun the mountain lion. In this state, I can absolutely 1,000% outrun the mountain lion. 
Uh, because you, one thing you have to know is that uh, once you get out of the... Uh, Basically, any any enemy in this game, uh, once you get out of the area that they kind of patrol, uh, a certain area away from where they were when they first made contact with you, uh, once you get out of that area, they kind of, like, stop following you to a certain degree. They just kind of give up. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot easier to get away from various creatures in this state. Uh, matter of fact, there's a mountain lion right there. Let's try and demonstrate. Nope, I didn't even uh, I didn't even aggro him. So yeah, you you can see that this is a lovely, lovely way to travel. Mega Crush is wonderful.